Hi everyone, welcome to my villa. Don't you just love this view? I wish I was at this place in person. It looks like I'm on a nice piazza. I'm overlooking a lake. There's mountains in the background. It just looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous setting. I would love to sit at a place like this. Have a little bit of dinner with you guys. Have a little bit of wine. Have a little bit of chit chat. You know, so this is the next best thing, right? Okay, well, maybe it's not the next best thing, but it's the closest that I can do on such short notice. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Friday Night Wine Diary series featuring Wink Wine. So this is, uh, oh my gosh, I have got, this is my last bottle from box 17. I have box 18 and 19 that I haven't even opened yet in the other room. And probably pretty soon my uh, 20th box is gonna be shipping. I know I'm falling so far behind but you know what I've been just enjoying the summer doing some different series here and there of some summer wines and things like that it's just a lot of fun and you know I don't want to pressure myself to have to do a wink wine every every Friday I just want to do what's fun what I'm in the mood for and it's just been so much fun so if you were wondering wink I wonder what wink is well I'll tell you because you know I'm good like that that's what good girlfriends do right so wink wine it's a subscription that I'm in and I choose to get it every month but you are free to skip I said last uh, two months ago I was going to skip and I didn't and then I said well you know I should skip that because I'm falling behind I'll skip again then nobody did and I figure it's not going to go bad and then I'm sad if I ever do get short of cash or something or anything like that and I can just say skip 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 I know it's a great plan so anyway it is a subscription I will have a link below in case you are interested to try it it's going to take you right to the wink website they're going to give you a quick questionnaire on different foods that you like and from there they are going to curate a box of four wines for you if you decide that you wanted to try it your first four bottles are going to be $29.95 shipping is free and I would get a free bottle of wine Thank you very much. And full disclosure, if you go right to the website, you don't need anybody's link. It's just going to be the same thing. You'll fill out the questionnaire. You'll get your first four bottles if you decide to stick with it for $29.95, free shipping. Just nobody gets a free bottle. That's what the difference is. So anyway, after that, if you decide, oh my gosh, this is good. I love having people curate wines for me. They did a great job. You're going to leave your feedback. And if you decide to stick with it, your next month, it's going to be $59.95. Again, it's going to be four bottles of wine. You can let them know, do you want all reds? Do you want all whites? Do you want a mixture? So it's just, e and it's easy enough to switch. Like during the summer, I switched from more reds to having a little bit of blend to have some rosés and some whites, things like that. And then this winter I'll go, go back to probably being all reds because I've got vinyl so I'll have plenty of sweet ones right but anyway it's just a lot of fun to try and wines from all over the world and yeah so it's wines from all over the world you don't have to leave your couch you just give them your feedback boom they curate a box and there you go of course you can buy wines whenever you want from them Anytime you buy four bottles or more, you're going to get free shipping. And anytime there's like different holidays, things like that coming up, they're always going to offer you like Mother's Day sales, Father's Day sales, Easter, Labor Day sales, Fourth of July sales, Memorial Day sales. So there's always something going on to get some extra bottles and things like that for free. And of course, if you do join, you're going to get your own code. And so anytime anyone uses your link, you're going to get a free bottle of wine. Your friend is going to get a great discount. I'm going to have a video linked up there uh, of my first Wink wine bottle opening. And um, I'll have a playlist at the end so you can see maybe some fancy hats, things like that. Check out the different foods that I've chosen to have with it, the different wines that I've tried. And it's just been just a really fun experience for me. I'm enjoying this so much. So anyway, so what is the big deal today? We are having a Spanish wine right here. I've got it open. I've got my aerator in. And this is Ver Verthus. 
bodegas and irazan irazan i should probably start over but i'm not you would think i was drinking but i'm not so bodegas aranzo and then maybe vertis and it's a premium spanish wine and it's cabernet sauvignon and a tempranillo so looking forward to having this i've got my aerator in I'm just going to pour a little bit in I do have some dinner to have for this and it's a different kind of dinner it's like a plant-based thing i thought i would try it maybe get away from some beef chicken okay we, we probably have enough in there all righty so let's put this back over here so it's not in the way but we still want to see it all right so it's a nice oh my gosh this is a nice deep deep purple Don't know how to get you to see this but i can see that it's really coating the glass I, that's telling me it's got a nice alcohol content i'm going to swirl this around a little bit let the fragrances unleash a little bit it's been bottled up in there so we just want it to breathe a little bit get those fragrances and everything to kind of unleash come to the surface and it all kind of comes up right here so you can kind of sniff it and try to figure out what's in it sometimes i do pretty good sometimes not so much but you know what it's all in fun. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. It does smell strong. I'm sensing something hot in here, like a, a green pepper or maybe even like a black pepper, but it's it's got a pepper, 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 <laughs> pepper fragrance. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm just, yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm excited. Maybe some plum, maybe some blackberry. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. I'm going in. Happy Friday. Mm. It's nice and dry. And not so dry that it just kind of dries you out and hurts. But it's you can feel that heat from the pepper. It is room temperature. I, um, I set my air conditioning at 83 so it's probably about 83 degrees probably could have put it in the refrigerator to chill it for a little bit but i think it's just perfect it's warm there's pepper in here so it's just kind of warm in your heart your insides a little bit of acidity not much um, i'm definitely blackberry plum maybe cherry i'm not really sure on that but it's just it coats the inside you can feel it dry a little bit but then it, it's like it's like it's just gone and it's just a nice flavor some nice tannins in here that give it a nice kind of a medium to full body I'm gonna say just gonna have another quick little sip and then tell you about my dinner it's kind of scary this is gonna be a nice sipping wine I can see having this with a lot of different things so this um, dinner that I'm having tonight don't know why I decided on plant food but anyway it's from sweet earth it was frozen and it's called bulgolgi and it was plant based and it says that it's got um, uh, brown rice some carrots red bell peppers and it says super five foods good source of iron three grams of fiber so not much fiber it's only 260 calories so I thought it might be fun to try I thought it might be spicy so I thought that might be good and so this is what it looks like you can see the rice in here and the peppers it smells spicy it smells kind of like I bought that kind of and I and maybe it had the same na name from Target and it was like kind of like shredded uh, steak and it was seasoned and so maybe it's supposed to be something like that and I really did like this but this was like um, you know three dollars so I thought it was worth a try Alrighty, so let me have a taste of this, a little sip of wine, and then I'll tell you more about the wine. I'm going to try some of, I think what the dark thing is supposed to be what the pretend beef is supposed to be. I'm not sure. Mm. It does have a lot of flavor. It is similar to that beef dish that I made before really some nice flavor yeah I think I, I can I can live with that you know sometimes that should will scare me but I can live with that cheers everyone
Mm. And it's really got some nice flavor. Yeah, that's good. So, okay, anyway, so it's 2019. It's a Virtus Red Blend. It's from Spain. And at the time um, that I got this, only 68 people had tried it and rated it, and they gave it a four out of five. So that's really a nice rating. It says it's lean, dark fruit, and aged. It's got a medium body, dry, and the alcohol is 14.5%. Tasting notes, blackberry, dark cherry, pepper, and plum. So it says savor Virtus Red Blend, a bold Spanish wine that dazzles with a cheese board. Enjoy organic and vegan elegance in every sip. Introducing Virtus Red Blend, a captivating Spanish sensation that's ready to whisk you away to enchanting vineyards of DOP UTL Requena. This ravishing red is perfect for the bold, bold, adventurous woman who appreciates a splash of pizzazz in her glass. I do like pizzazz. Let your sensations be tantalized by the lush notes of blackberries, dark cherries, and a hint of pepper, and a spicy kick. Crafted with organic grapes and vegan-friendly, the Virtus Red Blend is a wine that speaks to both your taste buds and your conscience. Envision yourself sipping this exquisite red under a canopy of stars and a warm Spanish breeze. It carries the sound of laughter and the soft strum of a flamenco guitar. Bring that magic home and share it with your loved ones. Pair this alluring blend with a mouth-watering cheese board, allowing the rich dark fruits and flavors to complement the creamy nutty notes of your favorite fromage. How to serve it? It says um, decant or open for 20 minutes before serving. It pairs well with pork, cheeses, cured meats, and stew. They suggested having it with a Wagyu roasted poblano pepper with potato and corn fajitas. And I think that Poblano is a whole big monster of a pepper. So, I don't, and potato, and you know, so I figured vegetables. So, that, I think that's why I picked this because it was like all vegetables. So, anyway, that is my wine this week. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me because we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. So, anyway, thanks again, everyone. I hope you. If you have some great plans this weekend, whether you're just doing some yard work or maybe you're going swimming in the backyard or over a friend's house or family or going to the lake, the mountains, maybe to the ocean, maybe just on your couch, maybe on your deck if the weather's nice, maybe catching up with some housework and some laundry, make some time for you. Have a little bit of fun. Love you guys so much. I appreciate you stopping in. It means so much to me. So thank you again. I hope you guys give me some comments, maybe suggestions for some more summer wines before the summer's over. And um, yeah, you guys, you guys are amazing. I really guys do appreciate you. So anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And we will see you in our next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.